a few screenshots to show you where you'd find all these different options. The best way to use them is just to kind of play with them. Uh, use the type menu, insert special character, and then just see what the options are. Uh, I think the biggest handicap when learning new software is understanding just the volume of possibilities. Like I always say you could take, you know, 25 Photoshop classes and never really know all of Photoshop. I don't think anyone knows all of Photoshop. Um, but if you know what's possible, you can at least know that you can experiment with it. And so when we insert special characters, you know, just kind of glance over and see if there's anything that you want to play around with and start using. And you will, you know, eventually start to master all the different options that are on all these different flyouts and all the different uh, menu drop downs. Inserting special characters. It would take hours to go through each special character one by one. Instead of dedicating time to walking through the process of inserting each special character individually, let's practice the basic steps for inserting any special character, and then I'll show you a few examples you are most likely to use. When we are done, I suggest going through each one individually on your own time and experimenting with what they can be used for. So the basic steps that needed to insert a special character are identify the special character that meets your needs, place a text cursor where you would like it to insert your special character, it must be blinking, and then choose type insert special character, and then choose the flyout menu that, that you're looking for. For example, to insert automatic page numbering, you should identify marker current page number as the correct special character to insert. Navigate to the correct master page. Make sure that you create a text box. Make sure the text cursor is blinking. And then choose type, insert special character, markers, and current page numbers. I, I, I put it on the master page because if something is going to automate in the same place, size, color, etc., it should be on a master page. Special characters formatting like typeface, size, color, etc., can be modified before or after they ins are inserted. I find it easier to insert them first and then modify it, but you could put a placeholder for page numbers in, just type like page 27 and modify it, and then highlight page 27, and then insert your special character, and it'll, it will override the text 27 and insert the, the automated page number. If you'd like to take your automation to the next level, Use a special character and then modify the formatting using styles instead of formatting each one manually one at a time. You can see here I've inserted uh, the automatic page numbering and it's on master A. Because it's on master A, it, it comes in as the letter A, but whenever master A is applied to a specific page, to page six or page seven or page eight, it will automatically change to be a six, a seven, or an eight. To do that, I made sure that I created text box on master A and the text cursor is blinking. You can then go to the type menu and choose type, insert special character, markers, and current page number. It will automatically insert the automatic page number, and again, because it's on master A, it is the letter A. And then I formatted it to, the, to whatever I wanted to format it for for my project. You can see here, when you navigate to the real pages in your document, it will automatically format. So on page one, it's in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see it becomes a two and a three on pages two and three. You'll notice that on my master page, the page numbering is in the bottom right hand corner of the page. I actually chose, um, instead of choosing left, right, center alignment, I chose align away from the spine. So whenever the page number is on the left hand side page, it aligns left. And whenever it's a right hand side page, it aligns to the right. So another example of inserting special characters is if you want to use M or N spacing, you can use M or N dashes, or you can change your quote from smart quotes to straight quotes and back and forth. And there's a time and there's a place for each. So I just pulled some examples off the internet so you can get some visuals here. So notice how M spacing is the width of a capital letter M and N spacing is the width of a capital letter N. So when you add M or N spacing or M or N dashes, uh, you can expect to get a longer space or a longer dash if you use the M action, and you get a shorter dash or space if you use the N option. You can also see that you can have straight quotes that look like measurements, so 37 inches, um, or you can have smart quotes, which are the quotes that you should use 
when you are doing quotes for writing. So according to so-and-so, quote, and then quotation marks, she's, uh, the height of the Eiffel Tower is, and if you're quoting a direct quote, it should use the smart quotes.